them in Mexico. Where the danger is in Mexico is the borders. Mm -hmm. And why? Well, let's go back in history. Who created the border towns? We did, the United States. We created Tijuana, Nuevo Laredo, Nogales, and all them crappy boards. We're on Sears Radio, right? Yeah, you curse. So oh, I can yeah, curse. Yeah, yeah. We, we created all those shitholes, <laughs> right? Do you know how? The prohibition of alcohol. When we prohibited alcohol, everybody that wanted to drink went over the border to Mexico to drink. Well, there came the cutes, there came all the bullshit. Now, the same holds true today. You have violence at the border. I remember, remember the, we all remember the Virginia Tech murders? Yeah, sure. Okay, do you know what headlines were that day in the Mexico papers? It said USA 33, Mexico 20. It was like a, a sports score. Because on that same day, Mexico lost 20 of their people at the border. The difference is ours only happens once a decade, like Virginia Tech. Theirs is a daily thing. And why? Because of the illegality of drugs and the prohibition. That's what, mm -hmm. If we want to stop all the killing, then stop the prohibition. It seems to me in our country, we're more fearful of marijuana than murder. Because well, yeah, we're yeah, condoning, yeah. we're prohibiting marijuana, which is causing all the murders. Is it marijuana, though, or the cocaine traffickers are the ones that tend to be really violent? It's all. It's all of them. It's all lumped together with so the would cartels. You, would you there. want to legalize uh, cocaine also and all well, drugs? Are when, well, when you speak legalized, let's remember, I think marijuana should be treated identical to liquor. Absolutely. Because yeah. I'll tell you, it's less... I agree in again fact, with Jesse In fact, it's, a, it's a lesser of a drug. Of course. Because how many kids do we hear at college who binge drink every year and die? Yeah. We hear about it every year. Yet, you can't smoke pot and die Binge immediately. Now, just, now yeah. you might die in 40 years from cancer, maybe, from inhaling the smoke, but it's not going to kill you. There isn't enough weed in the world that could kill you in one night. It's also a personal choice you're making, too. If you want to smoke it and take the risk of cancer, you should be... Absolutely. Yeah, and and now, them. so to me, let's bring... Uh, I think Franklin Roosevelt said it at the end of Prohibition of Alcohol, and I think it's a great quote. He said... I we, can't feel my legs. No, 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 <laughs> not quite. He said, we can no longer afford to prohibit alcohol anymore. I say you switch alcohol and marijuana now and say we can no longer afford to prohibit marijuana anymore. Right. I saw, you know those little stores in L.A. where they sell the medicinal if you got a script? Medical marijuana, yeah. I saw a story where they went into the guy. Now, it's all prescription, and it was a guy in a wheelchair, runs a little shop about as big as your studio right here. And they asked him, they said, how much did you pay with prescription-only pot in sales tax to the state of California last year? You know what he said? 300 grand. Wow. Now, if yeah. it was legal like liquor, he would be saying a million. Now, Absolutely, in these economic yes. times, isn't it smart to get a new revenue source? Schwarzenegger's actually saying that, though. You, in a way, agree. I think Schwarzenegger's he's kind of to toying with that idea. Absolutely. So you actually agree with that? With well, he's in, he's well, in a desperate spot right now. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Oh Our God. whole country is in a spot. Apparently, and wouldn't it be I'm smart? It wouldn't be that marijuana saves this country. <laughs> well, it, it won't save it, but it's one of the building blocks. If you can get more revenue coming, it, and one thing is not going to solve the economy. You're going to have to have about 30 things to solve it, but this could be one. How much more of the predator cast is for legalizing pot? <laughs> uh, I would say all of them. All right. I, 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 I would say Sonny'd have to be for it, yeah, Sonny Landon. I, I wouldn't think sure. Sonny'd have no problem sure. with it. Sure. I don't think Carl and Bill would have a problem you know, with it, Carl Bill Duke is, uh, and Carl Weathers. Poke a little bit, uh, sure. Shane Black, who wrote Lethal Weapon, I don't think he'd have a problem mm -hmm. with it. I, could, I just and, thought uh, I was a little curious on that yeah. one. Uh, now, Elpedia, uh, now I don't know. Elpedia <laughs> Carrillo, the, the, the Mexican yeah, girl. Yeah, I yeah. don't know what Elpedia sure, spot yeah, would be on it. Get to the chopper. Uh, it was <laughs> very good. I, I like that. that. I like so that. Get to the job. Now, we got to get into something because I'm agreeing with you on yeah, so far. everything you said so, so far. far. So good. Right. But now there are a couple of issues. Where I think we part ways a little bit. And what might that be? That would be what I heard he's talking about on Larry King about Guantanamo, uh, and the uh, insurgents, and the victims, the tortured people, the the bad guys, the terrorists, the poor guys, whatever you want to, you know, depending yeah. on which side, whatever they're being the called Muslims. this day. Muslims. Well, we only seem to waterboard Muslims. Well, when they're the only ones crashing. Oh, into the building, not true. Well. 
Timothy McVeigh and Nichols, oh, why didn't we waterboard them? Well, we kind of knew they did it. Yeah, but they, many people felt there were more and people involved. Shouldn't we have waterboarded them to find out? Uh, but we can't, can we? Because it's against the law. Well, we could execute were, one of them. <laughs> they were covered under the Constitution of the United States of America. Right. Uh, the insurgents, the victim, whatever you want to call they them. Should they should be too. Not, but they are not. Yes, they, they are. They are. Our country is our country. But it's, you, it, you go by the rule of, if you don't follow the rule of law when it's convenient, you must also follow it when it's inconvenient. Torture is illegal. But there's a difference. No, there between, is not. There is a difference between people, American citizens protected by the Constitution, and wartime prisoners that are... That are protected, not protected. by... By what? The Geneva Convention. Exactly. But... But they don't qualify for that either. Only because that's what the torture people are using semantics to get away with it. Semantics. It's just like when they call it enhanced interrogation. Right. right. Oh, what a neat word to come up with. It's, you can substitute for torture. Well, it is a shame. I've how been many waterboarded. Have, I, I heard. I know that. Yeah. I, I and heard. it's torture. Yep. John McCain has been waterboarded. He said, "Isn't it ironic that the guys who have been waterboarded and the guys who have actually served their country are opposed to the torture, and it's all these pukes like Dick Cheney who got five deferments from the Vietnam War." He's all for it and creates it because he never had to put his ass on the line, did he? Shouldn't it be on the table? Shouldn't that be on the table at least as Why? a threat no. for information? No, because you, because the information's fraudulent. That's why I made the quote. You give me Dick Cheney a waterboard in an hour and I'll have him confess to I the tape murders. I, I, I understand. Because, because when you're being tortured, you will say whatever it is to stop the torture. Yeah. So there's no credibility to what... Why do you think it's allowed in the courts? But the... But... But... The... Threat there are no a, buts. A threat of a torture. Let then, me tell you. Okay, when you go public then we stoop to their level, this, don't we? I'm not saying. I'm not What's even next? Saying Should torture. we lop some heads yeah, off? Right? I'm not even saying torture them. But I'm saying to publicly say this is what we're never going to use takes a tool away. It's called the tool of fear, not actually torturing. Let's say. And, and believe me, I'm not even for that. But I'm. I'm, I'm talking with you here. I know. Why would a president, or anybody else for that matter, say we're never going to use this? It's a bad thing to tell the opposition what you're taking off the table, regardless if you use it or because not. Because that puts us above them. But by and being if above we, them... And if we stoop to their level, we're no better than they are. But, you know something? We are, because... Uh, when no, we, we're when, not. When we, when we bomb places, we have to make sure they're strategic strikes.